So, here's my review of the Ordroid version 9.0 ROM. It's up to version 9 now, as you can see, 9.0.0. I mean, 9.0.0 if you want to put it that way. Go under status. This is for the uh, status bar. The options you get when you pull it down. Focus back. Um, you can hide and reorder the quick settings. Quick, quick settings, when you pull it down, it automatically goes back to it. You can change how the battery looks. So you can hide the icon, battery textile. Right now it's just the uh, percentage at the top where it says 16. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you can hide the My UI battery bar where at the very top it goes across. I don't really use it, but I'll show you. Okay, I have to restart the. Uh, you can kind of see it a little bit up there, the yellow. Can't really get the phone to focus, but it's, it's like just barely there. You, you can also change how thick it is with this. Just well, I don't have it on, so it's not going to work. But um, you can also change the colors of the uh, battery bar. I'm just going to go back. You can have the clock in the center, center or right. You can hide the AM or PM. Right now, I have it showing the AM PM. Um, you can have CM brightness control where you slide your finger across the top of the status bar. Notification caption where you can change. Mine just says to T-Mobile right now because I never messed with it. I'm sorry, it's so bright. Focusing on this phone isn't the best in the world. Um, for the rosy or the HTC Sense home screen, you can show the unlock animation and you can enable landscape. So you can see you just restart. Go up there. Start sense. Hit OK. Grant super user permissions. Sorry, my battery's dying. I only had like 50% like when I installed this, so hit back. Oops, went back too far. That was under a. Uh, <coughs> sorry. That was under the sense. Go back up here, see the unlock and enable landscape. Let's go to lock screen. Sorry about that being so bright. Um, you can have the AOSP lock screen or the stock sense lock, lock screen. You have to reboot the phone. I'll show you the boot animation when I reboot the phone. Carrier caption, high carrier label, high date and time. This is all on the lock screen. Buttons to unlock, volume, keys, music control, out for like Pandora and play, pause, next turn. Yeah. I like using that for um, Pandora and, and Slacker Radio. I don't want to reboot right now. Um, phone info. I move it up, so my phone number's not in there. You just get many things that it doesn't show under settings. MMS screen on? No, because I don't want it to turn on in my pocket. Volume steps. So when you're holding volume, you can either go slow or you can make it go fast. Uh, finest. You only notice it's different, actually. Um, long press home. I have already noticed there for recent apps. Long press menu. You can have a custom app screenshot. Let's do custom app. Um, And long press back screenshot. Um, you have to reboot the phone for that to take effect too. So not yet. Under uh, advanced, you have wipe cache, wipe dialing, fix permissions. If align all APKs in mouse system as read and writable, readable and writable. This is very much similar to the uh, Pokemon ROM. Cause you can go back to. It, the same pe people that work on the Pokemon ROM work on this ROM also. So it's going to be very similar to the other ROMs. 
Um, you can view their Twitter profiles. You can also donate. If you click on one, you can donate. You can go to their profile. See any profile. I'd recommend donating to them because these ROMs are something they make. Um, not really much else besides like accounts, location, security. You do have face unlock, as you can see. Face unlock. It's not really gonna work through the camera though. Okay. So, um, set up SIM card lock. Unknown sources. Install. All right. Um, privacy, accessibility, display. Pretty much basic. You have the. It has the like three finger things. I think where like you slide all three fingers across. Um. Under power. Has it has fast food. Fast food. It's never really worked for me because I mean like every time I turn it back on, like my uh, Wi-Fi isn't on and I have to restart it anyways. So I don't use fast food. But as you can see, six hours from when I installed this. I installed this on my way going to Walmart. So Plume uses five percent. You can tell I use Twitter too much. Don't use fast food. Um language and keyboard, date and time. It comes in twenty four hours, but I always put it back. One of the things I like to put in here is show touches. I don't know if you can see it, but now I'm showing my touches. This is since four point on um uh Android four point oh point three waiting for the home screen to reload because it had to restart. Oh, and the weather's in Celsius, so it's 22 degrees and saying. The widgets are resizable. Oh, most of them. Press and hold, drag. See, it's resizable. Um, I didn't really mess with anything on here, so... That's not my number. That's I don't even know who that person is actually. It's just the person writing me off Craigslist. So if you want a bomber, text her, him, her, I don't know who who it is. Um, it does have the Pokemon app installer too. I think that'd be kind of funny. It has Google Plus, Gmail, Dropbox. It has the 50 gigs Dropbox. It says on the um, change log that they don't have the Samsung Galaxy S3 Dropbox. But um, like when you're first setting this up, to go through setting up your accounts and everything, it says you get the 50 gigs free. I already signed up for the 50 gigs and the 23 or 25 gigs, so I have like 90 gigs of space on my Dropbox. Because when I had the Evo 3D, I got the I put the Sense 4 ROM on there and I signed up for it, and then I got that 50 gigs. Um, Twitter, it has Wi-Fi calling. I use Wi-Fi calling when my service isn't that great here. Um, Sense has personalized. This is kind of like a Sense thing, not the ROM related. You can change the lock screen style. You can have just wallpaper. You can have productivity. I really like the weather one. When you unlock it, it goes to uh, weather. Let's go to apply. Lock it. Unlock it. As you can see, I think that's pretty cool. There's a little shortcut right here, too. Um, Go back to. You can have people. You can have a clock. Um, you can have your photos show, too, if you want to. Let's go back. I think the productivity one's pretty cool. Not sure if it's gonna show anything because I don't really. Well, besides that, attack of the show tomorrow. It's the only thing that's really. Oh, um, I think you can click on that and drag it down actually. So if you click and hold, yeah, see, you can drag that down into the circle and it opens up your uh, calendar. Um, another thing that's sense related are the skins. I really think the skins are pretty cool, and also you can set up scenes. You can have, well, I think these are the skins, aren't they? Oops, I didn't even go to the skins. Go to scene. You can have, like, work-related, socials, play, travel. I think that's pretty cool. I don't really use those because I don't think anyone uses those besides people.
people that actually go out to work and travel. Right. Um, my favorite skin is the map. It changes everything to dark black. It doesn't really show well on camera though, so I'm not gonna change that. Um, home screens optimized. That's just the widgets. You can show the lock screens on the. Uh, I mean the shortcuts on the lock screen too. Wallpapers comes with the default HTC HTC wallpapers. Go back. Oh, and also you get the cube effect. If you want to go under sound set sounds like sound sets. Um, for which just press and hold on the screen. My favorite is the app shortcut. I don't really have any room because I got to clear some space, but. HTC has a lot of widgets. I like the smaller clock too because it doesn't take up as much space as the big one. Here are all the widgets. Just kind of quick rolling through these. I really like the weather widget. That looks pretty cool. Um, let me show you one. I got a spacer here and drop it. Go to current location. Why is it so small? I mean to go back. I guess I just go back four by four, and it should load up. Go back to it, and here's the weather widget. You can change the Celsius thing. Um, let me show you the. When you press and hold, you also get screenshots. Let me restart. Show you guys the boot animation. Here's the down animation too, by the way. I also got the new bag for my phone. I don't know if how well you can see it. I got the uh, I got the HTC Sensation XE bag, the white one with the Beats Audio logo. I thought it was pretty cool looking. Oh, that's bright. I also think this this has an awesome boot animation too. It changes like the sense, the E upside down for sensation. It's just the small things that matter, right? See, so yeah, that's pretty cool. It also has the Beats Audio down there. It takes a little bit to boot up. Oh, and I'll see this is the AOS V lock screen, stock ICS. Or you have the uh, camera on one side. I didn't show you guys the camera, did I? Wait for everything to kind of load up. Preparing SD card. My battery is at 7%, so it might die during this video. The sense lock on the home screen takes a little bit to load. That's why I like using CM9. CM9 or AOKP. Just for like stock. But once it loads, well, huh. Once it loads, right? Wait a minute. You guys lock the screen again. You can go over to camera. And it launches the camera relatively quickly. You can't use flash because this battery is too low. Hit menu. You get the basic things in the camera. Not really gonna go too much into that. It's really fast to take a picture though. What am I saving that picture for? Um, there you go. I like the little sound that it makes. Just small things in life, right? Um, that was my review of the Ordroid 8.9.0.0 ROM for the HTC 